Liz, on November 23rd, you finished 7th in the $2,500 main event at the APPT Macau. And then two days later, you reached your second APPT Macau final table, taking 8th in the $15,000 high rollers event. Tell me about it. Well, let's just say it was, um, it was a very interesting two events in, in Macau, especially I was really, really determined to make it to the final table, especially winning, because okay. that's, that's part of my, what you call, soil. You know, and also, if I were to make it to the final, you know, it would also help my charities as well. So it, it, it just, everything was a win-win situation. Right. As an Asian American player and someone who's done extensive charity work, how special was it to have a performance like that there in Macau? Well, it, it meant a lot because, you know, Macau is, is part, because my dad is Chinese and, and so, and recently he just passed away. So know, it, it was more of a motivation, you know, and kind of like I wanted to make him proud and, you know. Uh, so I, I put all my strength in there. Oh, you did a good job. Mm -hmm. What are your hopes for poker in Asia right now? Is it oh, I, I'm really, really praying it, go, it enters Asia. I probably end up moving there. If it does, I'm moving there. I'm leaving Vegas. I'm leaving L.A. I'm leaving London. I'm <laughs> moving to Macau. Maybe we'll all go to Macau. Which one would that be? No, you guys can stay here. <laughs> I'll move. You guys can go there and make all the money. No one else can go. There, there's just so much money to be made over there. I mean, even I was over there. I stayed at the Venetian. It, it's like exactly how the Venetian is here, except twice the size. And when you walk in the gambling area, I, I mean, there's just people everywhere playing the pit games. So you think poker is going to blow up for sure there? For sure, for sure. They're um, 2,500 event. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of new players that just tested the water, you know, tested the game. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, you know, because I ran my own game before when I was 18. So I had a lot of these Chinese restaurant owners that come and plays in my game. People just have a lot of money. And it's the same thing. It's like they don't, um, they don't care how much is in the pot. They'll pay just to see the next card. It doesn't matter how much they pay. So it's, it's not about the money, it's just about the addiction of, of the next card.